This is the Bedenia TH13. This machine was made by Matthias Boyerle. That is a company named after its founder. It was founded in 1863 and he made uh, clocks and watches. By 1903 the company was now run by three of the sons of this founder and it was Tobias Boyerle who decided to make calculators. And in 1903 they made the, their first calculator which was closely modelled on the uh, arithmometer by Thomas de Colmar. So it had sliders as input and it came in a wooden box, a rectangular box. Uh, fairly soon they started making uh, metal uh, casings and by 1920 they started with uh, keyboard machines and for those they used the brand name Bedinia. All the slider machines, the ones with uh, input by sliders, those were called peerless. But the keyboard machines were Bedinias and uh, in around 1929 they came up with a whole new range of uh, models and a new design this design had uh, the, the register was tilted more towards the user, more vertical. The keyboard was also tilted, but not as much. And uh, yeah, so this is this model is the TH13. It says so right here in the in in the carriage. And TH that means the H means it's a hand-driven model. It's a manual. The 13 is the number of digits in the register. TH10 is also very common. Well, actually, it's not that common because, um, yeah, this one was made in around 1935 or 6. Uh, much more common are the post war models from around 1950, 1955. Uh, the serial numbers on these machines are all consecutive. Uh, the serial number on this one is uh, 8,526. So up to this point, up to 1936 or so, only about uh, 8,500 machines were made. It's a fairly standard machine. Uh, yeah, you can enter a number on the keyboard. It is visible in this uh, input register here, what you've entered. And when you turn the crank, it gets added to the register and the counter is incremented by one. The keyboard is also automatically cleared. If you don't want to have it cleared automatically, you can flip this small switch here. So now, it It'll, uh, it'll remain entered in the keyboard so that you can do small multiplications easily. And uh, if you still want to clear the keyboard, you can use this big button here. To shift the carriage, there's this, uh, this uh, knob at the front, and that lifts the carriage and shifts it over one place and then drops it back again. You can also move the carriage by hand using this knob, by lift it, lifting it up and sliding it. So by shifting the carriage you can do multiplications with larger numbers because you are now adding the input at a, a higher uh, location at the uh, tens location in this case and now at, at the hundreds location so I've now multiplied the input 1 2 3 4 by 437 because I've turned it seven times in this position three times in that position and four times in that position and the result is shown here over on the left are two other switches this switch uh, changes between addition and subtraction. 
or multiplication and division. Basically, it changes whether the number you're, you've input, whether that gets added or subtracted to the register. The other switch changes whether the counter is incremented or decremented, whether it counts additions or whether it counts subtractions. I'll shift the carriage all the way to the right and here you can see the, yeah, the, the gears that drive the number wheels and if you switch between addition and subtraction you'll see these shift. At the moment it's the, um, it's, it's the bottom gear that engages with the wheels but if you switch to uh, subtraction the, these drop down and it's the top gear here that, in, that connects to these wheels so they turn the other way. Similarly the gears here are what drives the numbers in the uh, counter and that changes when you move the other switch. To clear the register just pull these sideways these these uh, knobs, but you do have to lift the carriage before you do that so that it disengages from the mechanism. So that's a quick overview of the Bedinia, the Bedinia TH13. Thank you for watching.